Vince Staples is dropping a new album called Dark Times this Friday, so in only four days. He just announced this, gave us the cover, the track list, and even a single so far. So today, we're gonna take a look at that. So let's jump straight into this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything surrounding hip hop, make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our Discord server in the description. So Vince Staples is someone that I've been so happy with in his development and what he's doing. His last LP, Ramona Park Broke My Heart from 2022, or on April, I think that dropped, was uh, one of my favorite albums of that year. Um, and I think that a lot of people agree with that. It was a very intimate album that had some beautiful moments on there. And I think that, you know, a lot of people just really connected with that. And he's stayed present. I mean, just this year, we also had his Netflix, The Vince Staples Show, which I haven't watched, but from what I've heard over the course of it being rolled out, was that it was more of like a five episode little sketch series. And we know that he's been creatively involved with movies as well. So I guess this just was the logical next step. Up, and he's really expressed himself, you know, through music, through movies now. And it's I'm so excited that we're getting this new album. So let's take a look at what he actually said, what he announced, and take a look at the single that we also just got. So we kind of started teasing at something dropping over the course of the past week. For example, he said that he's got hella raps, and this was kind of like a foreshadowing of what was to come on Twitter. Then we also had an announcement that a tour is starting next month, which was interesting because we didn't for sure exactly know that a new album was coming, even though there were some rumors, this was before he announced the album. So that was pretty, I mean, self-evident that something was coming. So he's saying the tour starts next month. So if you want to already, you know, cop tickets, I guess that they're going on sale pretty soon. And then we actually had the big announcement that a new album was coming out. So he posted this. He said, Dark Times, May 24th, 24, so this Friday. And he also gave us the track list in that tweet. But let's take a look at the cover first. There's not a lot to talk about here. The cover is literally just a, a pretty dark image, uh, like a little, you know, just white, little gray elements in there. And it just says dark times. So it's pretty dark. So maybe this album is also going to be dark in tone. But so far, the single that we got isn't telling that. He also dropped the track list. Um, so that's pretty interesting. It's like a weird way to read it. I don't know if there's artistic reasoning behind this. We have 13 tracks in total, which I'm really happy with because it's not just a bloated album that we get a lot nowadays. But, you know, he always keeps it very concise when it comes to the track list Ramona Park broke my heart was also like that so let's go through the titles real quick and see what we can get from them even though obviously there is not a lot of info you can get from song titles that you haven't heard yet but the first thing is called close your eyes and swing then we have black and blue then government cheese then children's song shame on the devil which we actually got as a single today but let's talk about that in a second then etouffee what is that then liars then Justin, then Radio, Nothing Matters, Lil Homies, Freeman, and Why Won't the Sun Come Out. So that's going to be the track list, which it sounds pretty cool. I don't know why the theme of Dark Times is, you know, kind of used for this. Maybe the last track, Why Won't the Sun Come Out, could also be in reference to that because it's Dark Times and he's asking when the sun will come out again. You could kind of connect it to that, but let's talk about track number five because that is a track that we actually got as a single which is shame on the devil now he posted this on his social media with a little clip so maybe we're going to be getting a music video for this but then he also dropped it and i only saw this later but he dropped it actually as a full track on streaming services so you can go on spotify apple music and stream that song so it's called shame on the devil it already got the cover art and this song the first time that i listened to it reminded me a lot of Mac Miller, and this is not a coincidence, the two of them were very close and they collaborated a lot of times. And I guess it's kind of like they, they both developed their sounds in that direction. It's a very mellow track. So I'm guessing we're going for a similar vibe as Ramona Park, because that was also kind of that mellow track with a lot of pretty, you know, more intense bars on there. And he uses that typical Vince Staples flow that sounds kind of bored, but in itself is pretty cool and very nice to listen to. So I was really happy with this track. I'm not sure exactly what to make of the title and what to make of the contents. Maybe he's repenting for some sins. He's talking about some stuff in there, but I need to listen to this a couple of more times to really get 
the full picture on this and obviously once we get the full album we'll be able to make even clearer you know of, of the meanings and intentions behind this track when we see it in the context of the full track list but this sounds pretty cool and i've seen a lot of people on social media already being like yo classic incoming so um, a lot of people like this track and a lot of people like where this is going for this new album now to kind of double down on this album dropping he also tweeted album this friday pre-save midnight and then he also gave us the pre-save link and you can go on spotify apple music and pre-save this album already i did it so if you're a Vince Staples fan, make sure to do that so you have it on Friday. This is not no advertisement for him. I'm just really hyped about this album. So the pre-save is out. So I'm guessing we're not going to be getting new singles until then. But I mean, it's only four days. And the fact that we got a single today is, you know, more than we need. It's just a Monday and we got a single. I mean, he probably should have dropped some just so people know what they're getting into. But I think a lot of people would have tuned into this album nonetheless, whether we got a single or not. Now, me, I'm very excited for this album. I thought his evolution as an artist over the past 10 years has been crazy honestly as i said ramona park one of my favorite albums of 2022 and it's it's always someone who flies a little bit under the radar just because it's not that big major record label dude and one thing that i did want to mention that i didn't want to leave out is that this is going to be his last album under def jam so he's getting out of his deal we don't know what he's doing after this but this is a good sign that he wants to leave with a banger and he wants to then go on into other creative ventures that might include more movies as well as he's doing with his Netflix show already. Or maybe just dropping a lot more music and a lot more music that is going to be very good. So I'm guessing he wants this album to be good as kind of a closure of his record deal. And then we're going to move on into a new era of Vince Staples. Also, I'm very happy that with this, we kind of got the confirmation that he's not done with music. He's not just doing movies or anything. That was never the question, but still, it's kind of like a life sign that he's still dropping music. And I'm very excited for this. I'm also very excited to see who's featured on that album because on Ramona Park, we had some, uh, you know, pretty interesting appearances. Lil Baby on that one track that he worked in there really well. So I was very happy with the features on Ramona Park and the way that he used them on the album. And I'm really excited to see what he does on this new one. Maybe there's no features. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this. And generally, let me know how y'all feel about Vince Staples dropping this new project. Are you excited? Are you hyped for this album? What do you make of the track list and of the track Shame on the Devil that we already got? Now, I want to know all your thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.